If I can, for a moment, just draw your attention to the eyelid that is pulsating. And the fingers on the left that are moving ever so far. This is Scorn, everybody. This is an atmospheric first-person horror adventure. I would describe this as, at its core, a puzzle game with a lot of body parts. <laughs> and for what I've seen in any of the previews that have been done, wow. It kind of reminds me of early days like Mist or something a little bit more recent, The Witness. But, but obviously much stranger. Thank you so much to Kepler Interactive for sponsoring this episode. I've had a lot of you guys asking me to play it, and here we are. I'm going to make a recommendation for you if you've never been to the channel before. That's just set the vibe. Lights off, headphones on. Let yourself get into this one. It seems like we were trapped or entwined is maybe a better word and then released or was it an escape we'll see if we get any hints my understanding is there's no storytelling cutscenes everything is just found out by exploring the world there are some FPS elements but not until later, I'm told. So, yeah, really cool. Can't use this. It's almost like a hybrid between an organic structure and like fused with mechanical elements can we go in here It's just like eerily quiet. As far as I know, in case you're wondering, uh, this game does not focus on jump scares or anything. It's more about the atmosphere and the world being horrific. <laughs> That's cool. There's a little chair down there. Spire in the middle. Okay. What is that? Can't use this either. There must be something that unlocks these. Okay, we can run. There we go. So we get a full white circle if it's something we can use. Oh, look at the body. I was about to say we must be human, but uh, I'm, I kind of take that back. I'm thinking less on the human. Oh, cool. Do you think that could be 
maybe a key for those doors? Is that possible? Oh, it's a key for this. I've never seen anything like that. Okay, so we've got basic controls, direction, and then use. So I can select from either of these. That's not doing anything. That's like unlatching something. Okay, cool. And then we back out. Oh, it's closing. Oh, that's great. Let's go. Bye now. Okay, so we were up somewhere around there, maybe? Yeah, we must have came out up there. It's just immense. There's like a track. Is that a track? Yeah, sort of. Okay, so that's where we came out of. There's another room there. Let's check this. Potential door there. like a claw hook there's a light up there so maybe this is grabbing something from there later and then placing something huh can't use this okay <laughs> I don't really know what we're getting into here, you guys. Okay. The lights were on things that we've interacted with. Like, we got that thing installed on our arm. That thing was lit. There's a light there. There's lights up there. Oh, whoa, this is above us. Oh, okay, so these are definitely tracks. Right? This one that I'm switching, we came out of that bottom one, I think. So, unless we need to go back there, but the door was closed. We should go and check where the tracks lead before we start messing these, messing with these. I can't select that other thing that's highlighted, I don't think. That's that, um, is that that chair that was in front of us? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's check the door here. Look at the little finger holes. They're just so fleshy. That like started it. We're gonna take the whole building down. 
So we're going to need to find a way to operate both of those. What's going on here? Oh, hello. Oh, do you link around to... I see. So, yeah, we came out of there. That's the door that's closed. I'm just kind of mapping this so that I have some idea of where we've been. Okay, a lot of things seem very pokey. It looks like it's grabbing something. And then it's like placing something. <laughs> okay. Okay, clearly we need to get something going into there. Let's check upstairs. Or downstairs? Definitely upstairs. Okay, already in the contraptions we've ran into, we know this is going to be really trippy. Trying to grab something. Okay, we did something permanent though. We at least moved that. Oh, this is what we were looking up at from the bottom, I think. That light. Okay, hold on. Before I get too deep into this, where do these offshoots go? We go around the whole thing. Oh, what's this? What the hell? I couldn't even describe what these things might even... Like, what, what are these things? I feel like the structure is living. But... Okay. That must be some type of lock. I'm pretty sure in demo stuff that I've seen, yeah, we have something that's that, like some type of weird pattern that matches stuff like that, but. Okay. Maybe we, we, we're going to need some type of tool. Okay, so we've done a full circle around it. Fair enough. Oh, I'm controlling this claw. Holy smokes. For what? Okay. Oh, okay. This is the, uh... This is the thing that it went to grab, right?
Let's just see how this works. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay. I see uh, there's a cracked one there. And I've got lit ones. So this is like some type of rearranging puzzle, right? That cracked one, I presume I can't even get over there because it looks, yeah, it's connected. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. And then we'll bring a lit one to it and see what happens. The the sound is like really really good. Uh One of the things that I really love in games like when I'm controlling a big contraption like this and you can feel the weight of the movements and then the sound amplifies that to the point where you're like okay you're just like in the world and you're nothing is taking you out of it like that is really impressive okay here we go Okay, there we go. That was something. It's placing something in the chair, but that one did not work. Did it fall down? Somewhere? I think they did me dirty there. So now, okay, I've got this lit one. This one is connected. And see how, okay, there's this section here where the claw is. You can't go through that. You have to go on these open nodes, it seems. Oh, wow, I've got all of this stuff to operate. Oh, wow, do I even go this far? Okay, this is as far as my thing goes. You can see it maxed out on the top. Uh, right there. And the other claw on the far left looks broken. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I need to get... I need space up top, clearly. Because this is connected to two things. So it basically needs to go along here. Or some version of that. feels good, except that, like, if I move this over, there's no way for me to work these around. I think I need to somehow position those over here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Let me just move as much stuff out of the way as I can. Everything come over here, and then that'll just clean up the left side for me. This one's on its own. This one's cracked. But I can't get that into there uh, based on its orientation, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Okay. Okay, now... 
Things are already tight here. So we need to figure out a way to give our glowing one some breathing room. How do we do that? It's almost like, I feel like this is maybe in a bad spot for us. Because to get these out of the way, they could technically go to that bottom left area, but there's so many of them that I feel like it's going to get really cluttered. Let me just see if this changes the way anything feels. It's interesting because if I just move this down, I feel like I have less things to play with. Because I'm, I'm essentially blocking these top two spots. And I can't move it over. The only place it could go is down. And these are all single in the bottom, so I don't know how important that's going to be. Oh, one thing maybe we could do. Uh, how could I get this over there? That's really tough. If I put this here, then I'm totally locked in, right? Seems like it. Maybe I should clean that up a bit. Just get this out of here for a second. So if I did something like this, I could slide this top one all the way over. And down, okay, okay, okay. We're on to something big here. Oh, I think we... I think we might just have it here, guys. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I can't just go across here. Okay, we're very close. See, I can get this down here. But I still need to go across, so... Uh... There we go. There we go, guys. Let's get into this thing. Better be happy with this donation. Those kind of puzzles can be extremely frustrating for me if I'm not in the right headspace. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's alive. alive. He's still dangling. Okay. Let's get down there. So the only thing that was up top behind that puzzle was a door that I can't open. Is 
See, it looks like they're sitting in these kind of half eggs, right? So if I bring them in here, then what? We scoop them out. This should bring me to that door, right? Yeah. Now where is he? So we were up there. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's so wild. Okay, hold on. Have we checked back here yet? Or have we checked on the left side of this door? I bet you this connects just like the other side, but let's double check anyways. What was this place doing? This is one of those little, uh, this is like the thing that put the trigger on our arm. Okay, so what's happening in here? You're grabbing something from there. Placing it in the chair. Right, right, right. Okay, you're that's cool. <laughs> and then what are you doing? Drilling him in half. I'm starting to think the guy in the half egg that we brought in here, he's going to have a bad time. He's going to have a bad time. Unless we're going to have a bad time. That's also possible. What's back here? Where's this area to our right? So if I come out of here... Yeah, so that loops around just like that. So both sides loop around to these other areas. Be with you shortly. <laughs> and then from there, we could see back into this area, which is kind of neat. I don't know what that's doing. Okay, so it seems like we need to take him into one of those rooms. Is that what I'm picking up on? Cool. You shall henceforth be known as Dobby. He's looking right at me. Okay, so he's he's sentient. Like he could be like me almost at some stage. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Okay, let's go up top and let's look at these let's look at these tracks again. Okay. 
Um, so he's in that chair. That connects. And then... Okay, so I guess... Wait, how does the chair even move? Hold on. Oh, I'm driving. We're getting him onto the tracks this way. that do? Oh, oh my god, this is uncomfortable. What the hell? Okay, now I can go either direction. Maybe we need his blood? Okay, hold on, I'm at the edge here. Oh wait, we're just back to where he started. I need to get him onto the main. Okay, hold on a sec, what was the tool that was back here? I feel so bad for him. Like this is so this is bad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So in theory I wheel him back here. This transfers him over to here and then this thing would like slice him in half. Yeah, that's slicing him in half. Look at the guy beside it. What does that do for me? And then I have half of, half of a screaming guy. The other one was like a scoop, it looked like. Maybe we'll start there. I don't know if there's failure states or anything either, so... Okay, first of all, I gotta get him onto this main track. His eyes are, are like almost innocent. Okay, hold on. This is where the tracks switch, right? Yeah. So we came... Oh, wait. Yeah, we came from there. So hold on. If we drive him in here... Let's just see. Yeah, see, this looks like it would kind of scoop him out of there. That little spoon comes down. It's <laughs> like yogurt. Okay, Dobby. I don't even want to know what those are. Are you happy here? Oh, 
don't worry, I'm sure this will be... I'm sure this will go great. Yeah, see, and there's a bunch of these little eggs down here. So I presume we're on the right track. Like, if he's trying to tell us something. Well, here goes nothing. Oh my god. Okay. saw that happening pretty much I thought he was gonna get scooped out of there and I guess part of him did what did we want here zero zero two <laughs> um well it appears that it was either that, or get sawed in half, or maybe the maybe the saw would have not gone all the way through, but it certainly looked like it would have. Am I just carrying this? Yep, just carrying an arm. That's that's cool. That's certainly cool. Oh, okay. I know what we need to do. Remember this thing? Okay, hold on. So, what if I would have brought him here? Then what happens? I don't know. I presume he gets sawed in half. We can use this now. Or maybe you just maybe something fails and you have to go back anyways. I don't know. I don't know if this is like a multiple options type of thing. Okay, so now at that door we had these two things and I've got two triggers. So let's see if we place an arm in there. Yeah, for sure. Is that staying? Oh, so cool. Bobby, your death will not be in vain, my friend. You have helped me achieve whatever it is I'm achieving. What the? I really want to know more about why we're here, like why, and, and why us? Because we were clearly trapped in something earlier, and now we're just out doing this. Whatever this is. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Guys, um, we're gonna stop here. This feels like, okay, I solved one area, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so there was a few doors back there. Does that mean that at some point I can go back there? At least not yet, no. Weird, I have so many questions. Guys, this is really cool. Again, uh... <laughs> I don't even know how you would describe this to people. The best comparison I have is the witness <laughs> with more body parts. So yeah, puzzles, exploration, 
experimenting <laughs> and and body parts <laughs> that's the best i got and uh really cool check out the links down below for yourself and if you guys want to see more please let me know if you guys want more i will play more i want to thank kepler interactive for sponsoring this episode it means a lot to me that you're supporting the channel and uh I will play more if you guys want to see it. So let me hear about it. Let me hear all of your thoughts about Scorn down below. Good, bad, and the ugly. Because it's it's like a beautiful ugly. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. Oh my god. I had a great time. I want to play more. So hopefully you guys want to see it. Bye.